This conference will now be recorded. Good evening, everybody. The time is now 7.01. I apologize for delay. I have some technical issues there. It is Monday, January 3rd, 2022. Happy New Year, everyone, and welcome. If I can get everyone to silence your cell phones and rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, which it stands one nation uh, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> all right. Ms. Heiler, you can go ahead and take the roll. Present. Around. Council member rounds present couldn't hear her. no that's okay I, I'll I'll repeat here present council member Smith here here I think that just two chairs empty and everybody's here all right thank you um at this time i'm going to call down um i've got three to do uh council member rounds we are going to wait until you are able to be in person to uh, continue your oath of office you are fine at this point from my understanding uh, but at your next in-person meeting we will swear you in okay all right thank you and with that where pete do you have the you have the things or are they in here i am just oh the thinner oh the thin five there we go i've got five of them tonight all right all right mr burke come on down And welcome back, by the way. Thank you. You know, after how many years already? Uh, too, many. too many years to, to go back to. All right. Um, for those of you that don't know, Mr. Burke has served on council previously and has decided to come back and, and join us for another round of service. So we we'll look forward to that and we appreciate you. Uh, go ahead and raise your right hand for me and repeat after me. I, J.J. Burke, I, J. J. Burke, do solemnly affirm. That I will support the Constitution of the United States and Constitution and laws of the state of Washington and Constitution and laws of the state of Washington. And that I will faithfully and impartially perform and discharge the duties of the office of City of Woodland Council Position 1. According to law, according to, law. to the best of my ability. Congratulations and welcome aboard. Uh, who's dating this? Am I dating this for today or for the first? For today. All right. All right. Back for a second round. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, you too, as well, are, are joining us for another day at the circus. So, welcome. Go ahead and raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, David Plaza, I, David Plaza, do solemnly affirm, do solemnly affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States, I will support the Constitution of the United States, and Constitution and laws of the state of Washington, Constitution and laws of the state of Washington. And that I will faithfully, that I will faithfully and impartially, and impartially perform and discharge, perform and discharge the duties of the office of the duty of the office of City of Woodland Council Position Three, City of Woodland Council Position Three, according to the law, according to the law, to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. All right, congratulations. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
my name's on this one. Uh, <laughs> May, let's see. No, you can't have a <laughs> Do you want to say anything? Uh, I'm just glad to be here. Hope to distribute you guys the welfare of the four years for as long as I can. Yeah, there you go. Are you arguing, Mr. Fredericks? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ms. Rowland. Oh, 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 wow. Okay. All right. Are you ready? All right. Go ahead and raise your right hand for me. I, Jen Rowland. Do you solemnly affirm, you solemnly affirm that, I that I will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution and laws of the state of Washington and, the Constitution laws of the state of Washington, and that I will faithfully, and, I will faithfully and, impartially, and impartially perform and discharge, perform and discharge the, duties of the, office of the duties of the office of City of Woodland Council Position 6, city of Woodland Council Position 6 according to the law. According to the law, to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. All right, congratulations. I'll have you sign right here for me. Thank you. <laughs> Is that it? All right, well, welcome aboard. <laughs> congratulations. All right. We have no other presentations this evening, and we will get to Ms. Brown's at the next meeting. Okay, thank you. All right. All right, and with that, we're gonna move to citizen communications for items not on the agenda. And up first, we have Mr. Boyle. Goodbye, Mrs. Johnson. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Weil. Hi, thank you. Uh, Equal Woodland Center State. A couple things I have that I uh, just wanted to mention in working on the gazebo, getting the gazebo rebuilt. I've spoken with folks and they're on board and ready to uh, put in whatever needs to happen for folks. So we'll get together on that. Okay. Uh, and then 100th uh, Planner State celebration. June 6th through 19th, we've uh, sent out the sponsor sheets and have had a great response so far. Um, uh, we're expecting a lot more. Tomorrow we will have our meeting at Columbia Bank at 6 o'clock. Um, the art contest is done as of tomorrow. Um, I believe the applications for the court are all done too. It will be uh, doing the interviews a couple of weeks for, for that. Um, putting the schedule together, and uh, we'd like to hear from you if you're interested in helping with planner stage or ask questions. Uh, when will the artwork be announced or, or shown? Is uh, it, when is that being judged? So tomorrow we will have our meeting and we'll decide if we have all of the entries and gotcha. probably decide on tomorrow. Okay, awesome. Looking forward to it. All right, thank you very much. Anyone else for items not on the agenda? Uh, that did not sign up that's in the gallery. Now is your opportunity to step forward. Anyone online? Seeing no one, seeing no one, moving on to items on the agenda. I have no one signed up in the gallery. Now is your opportunity to step forward if you failed to do so at the beginning of the meeting. Anyone online? Seeing no one, moving on. Come to the portion of uh, tonight's agenda. Move to approve the agenda. Second. Moved by Council Member Chapman, seconded by Council Member Plaza. Ms. Heiler. Yes. Council Member Rounds. Aye. Aye. Council Member Chapman. Aye. Aye. Council Member Smith. Aye. Aye. 
All right, the agenda has been approved. Moving on to reports of City Council. Mr. Mrs. Rounds, do you have? Mr. Mayor, yes. Yes, ma'am. Um, Go ahead. With with our bell ringing that we did for um, Rotary. Can you hear? <laughs> well, no, you didn't, but you did good. Yeah, no, you didn't. You did good. But we raised two thousand four hundred thirty-three dollars and eight cents. So, um, all right, good you, job. You did two hundred and eighty-eight dollars. I could have so, sworn. Thank you very much, and thanks to I everyone. I could have three hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Smith Ooh. even stopped by. I I conned money out of his children. Um, all kinds of people stopped by, and I told them get their dang wallets out. Yeah, we right, appreciate well. it too. You bet, you bet. No, I'm glad you you guys raised uh, a lot of money there. Good job. All right, anyone else? For those of you in the gallery that don't know, but I'm I'm good for a good competition, so and I don't like to lose, so um, I may have to ring the bell two times next year just to make sure I I make up for it. I was trying to hit four hundred dollars, and I think well clearly I hit three or what'd you say a thousand? I got a thousand out of that. Two eighty. Oh, two eighty something. I rounded up. I rounded up. <laughs> three thousand dollars, I think, is what I raised when one day. If you want, yeah, I rounded up. Right. Yeah. Twenty. And oh, I was. Had oh, I did. I did. A uh, number of number of community members stopped by. I was very appreciative of, of those I saw. Mr. McMinn being one of them. Um, I saw the Ray Kings as well. Um, who else did I see? I saw uh, this council member Smith stop by. And there's lots of people, lots of people. Nobody threw any tomatoes, which was good, but, or, <laughs> or <laughs> cornucopias, whatever you, what do you do on Christmas trees? Um, all right, moving on, public safety. Who was there tonight? Oh, that one was canceled. Public works. Oh, Miss Holland, fire away. Because Monty and Carol are, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. And I guess just make sure before we go on to make sure those microphones are, are close enough to you and that they're on uh, just so everybody at home can hear you. Um, so we started our meeting at five o'clock. Um, it looks like I took some notes. I don't ever do this Monty this when Carol does. <laughs> so, um, so we are moving right along with the um, changing out the tube and tank things for what is this WTP improvements? So water treatment plant. water treatment plant. So interestingly enough, they're switching from stain from a PVC to stainless because you get double the life out of it, which that sounds like a really good idea. Then you don't have to mess with it anytime soon. Um, what else? Let's see here. Uh, water treatment plant again. Uh, the number two pump will be replaced at the Rainy Well in January. Uh, for water, the one million gallon reservoir is being cleaned um, at the end of January. I know it's fascinating. So, um, <laughs> Also, what, uh, something that's on our agenda tonight is the West Friday Avenue uh, water railroad crossing. Um, that is on our council agenda for the lowest bidder uh, approval. Uh, we also have the same thing for Davidson water railroad crossing. Um, the sewer lift station, oh, how it's clean sweep, took care of lift stations. Two, three, six, and nine is preventative maintenance. Another good idea. Do things ahead of time. Um, sidewalks right now. Uh, Dylan, our new uh, public works person, is driving around town evaluating sidewalks for future projects to get repaired. Uh, some other things you might notice around town is that Public Works is also changing out um, the lighting to LED, so it saves city taxpayers money because the bill is less. And they've replaced about 50% of those since Ms. Coleman took over, so thank her for being able to see when you drive. Um, we met our new hires, that's uh, 
Dylan, Kevin wasn't here, um, and our new superintendent, Tim. He's been coming to our public works meeting, a fascinating gentleman. Uh, and Nick joined our team with the uh, public works department. Let's see, what else do we have going on? Oh, um, in downtown, Gilligan's Island is scheduled for some new bar fest in January. Uh, and all the Christmas stuff before somebody starts whining. Um, <laughs> Christmas is coming down this month and then Valentine's will be going up. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, and three people uh, took some bucket truck training uh, so they can be certified to help with uh, tree trimming that's gonna happen later this month. And let's see, what else do we have? Uh, oh, over on, um, let's see, oh, over on Gun Club, they've received some money, what are we doing there? These projects were not granting for funding for the site bowl, but she, when they do, they're going to be uh, shooting to repair Gun Club. That's over in my neck of the woods, and if you've driven down the road, you know why they need um, some funding. And the Federal Highway Crossing Program. They're, uh, what is it, this? moving with construction documents, which are 90% complete and DOT approval cycles right now. They're trying to coordinate with BNSF, BNSF to move forward on that. Um, and something I learned of in our public works meeting, and I don't think most people know, is that uh, our mayor and uh, planning, the planning okay. department and public works work together to approach Cowlitz County. Oh, thank you. I didn't know where we were going with that, no, Ms. Holland. No, no. I don't know they, if you could see the terror on my face. I no, wasn't sure what was they, coming next. They <laughs> collaborated and at the end of December, they approached uh, Cowlitz County to get some funding towards exit 21 and it has been tentatively approved. So that's a big deal. It's a big and, deal. And big deal. I am really proud of you guys for doing that. I Thank think you. it's really cool. And I'm excited that our county commissioners were down for the whole project. And that's about all I have. All right. That. Um, I, on, I did it justice. In, all right. You <laughs> did. You did great. Uh, Ms. Coleman, on our, uh, Ms. Holland mentioned the stainless steel pipes and that action item is on our agenda this evening. And I believe that is the, uh, set action item k no stand by action item k i think okay yeah. is it k one yeah. treatment filter number one change orders one two and three with stellar j um can you just explain similar to the way that it was explained to um me during our exec team meeting this morning about the cost and yeah, and so how why we're doing what we're doing right so we initially went to develop what we needed for the restoration of our filters, um, there's always other, other things that we don't Bless see we can have. So when we put these filter work together, we didn't know what was going to happen underneath that media. You know, they've been in there for years, and we don't know when they remove all that media, what's underneath there. If the tubing's going to be adequate um, or working or whatever. So when we pulled all the filter media out, we found out the tubing, uh, two-thirds of the tubing were not functioning properly in order to filter our water correctly. Doesn't mean that our water is not pure, doesn't mean our water is not clean, but what we're saying is it wasn't operating to the full potential. So, um, so what we're doing is um, those PVC pipes or tubes that are in there that push air up through that filter media to, to draw that water in, um, they actually need to be replaced. And so the upgrade cost for a PVC versus stainless steel is about 20%. So your PVC pipes and your lead time said about $80,000 and 12 to 14 weeks. He goes staying a fill, which can be totally refurbished, and you have to do this again for the water filter plant. You're looking at twice the lifetime and about a $20,000 increase in cost. So it doesn't make any sense to put PVC in when you can refurbish your stainless steel later on down the road and get twice the life expectancy, if technically it's not more, um, if you ever have to go and do that filter plant again. So we opted to go with the stainless steel. So these change order, this change order is for. Um, going with the unforeseen and unknown, but we did budget for it because we didn't know what we were going to run into. So we have we have budgeted funds in our budget for it, but we did not we don't have it in our contract amount because we didn't know if we would need it. So when we're looking at this chamber, there's no amendment to our our um, budget for additional funding. We're just saying that 
we're asking for the contract to go from the 200 some thousand now to 100, I think 135, 150,000 more um, due to the fact we have the change order to cover for that the um, new stainless steel tubing and the timing associated with it for the long lease time and for the additional man hours for our contract management and engineering to determine what kind of capacity we need. So that's, that's what those things are for. Questions about that? Okay. Thank you, Ms. Goldman. I appreciate that. Um, and with that, reports of advisory committees. Um, the Chamber of Commerce, I've asked that uh, Ms. Miller is going to start reporting um, on Chamber business on the second meeting of every month. We do have on action item L this evening a change in council rules uh, stating that. So she is not here this evening. Uh, Ms. Rounds, do you have anything to report for Chamber at all? Uh, no, not at this time. All right, thank you. Um, so tomorrow is a big day, Ms. King, Ray King. Are you able to speak to that? Are you on the board still? Yes, I'm on the board. Tim. Oh, Tim. I didn't. I didn't know that if we had changed. I'm sorry. Thank you. Does anyone want to no report or go ahead? Okay. Yep. Feel free. So tomorrow, uh, what the chamber has done is change the the board took the action to change to a monthly first. Tuesday meeting, which would actually be a longer meeting with the speaker, and then the third Tuesday would be a networking lunch. Um, and so on the second and fourth, there won't be a chamber meeting anymore. And at this first one, um, Travis, Tracy, myself, and Chief Kelly, and Michael Green will be <laughs> speaking about the state of the community. And the topic is what we've seen and what we are anticipating in 2022. All right, thank you. And that has a remote link, right? Is there a remote link for that? Yes, yeah, you have the RSVP um, with Denise Miller, our Chamber Executive Director, to get the um, link for that. Okay. There is a cost if you do attend and have the lunch, but you can attend and not have lunch and just listen, but you need the RSVP. It will be at Anadote. Uh, and the downstairs. The downstairs. And tomorrow. it starts at 11 30. Oh, 11. Oh, I thought it was in here. Okay. And then is that those meetings? I do have a question. Sorry, please come back. Yeah. <laughs> Are those for members only or is that? No, it's, anyway, open. it's open to anyone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And Perfect. we kind of uh, we've crafted uh, all through uh, the year some topics, including um, one that you guys will probably be interested in. Well, we always have the legislative members come. We're going to have a Big meeting for that one. We'll have it in a very open space after um, the legislature is done and bring everybody together to talk okay. about everything at one time. And then when we do elections, we'll bring everybody together and start bringing it week after week. It'll be one time for everybody. And the calls start next week? Yes. Okay. 7 30 at the chamber office, but those are also Zoom. You can attend. You have to RSVP. And if you saw the, the state legislature has moved to complete virtual today. I did not. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. So any time out there, they are not reserving any rooms. They are not doing in person. God forbid the people be able to attend their own home. Right. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll reserve we'll my comments. Thank you, so Ms. Ray King, for um, firing us up this evening. <laughs> not on purpose. I know. I was not. I was not aware of that. So thank you. Um, well, I guess maybe I might have something else to say now. <laughs> All right. Um, DWR? Do you have anything for DWR? No? Okay. Except the decorations are coming down. Um, but I know that's Public Works. Is that partnership with DWR? No. no. Okay. And then uh, the COG. The, and the meeting was canceled for the month. Okay. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Uh, moving on to reports of city officers, um, I'll go first. Uh, so bell ringing, Ms. Rounds and Mrs. Rounds stated that we had a great time. Family always goes out on Christmas Eve and we ring the bell at Safeway for a few hours. It's always nice getting out there and giving my wife a reprieve to get ready for a household people. Um, but it's it's always a good time. Uh, little Liam was very happy this year. And there was no fights between the boys, which was very exciting. Um, this was that we got in the car and he was so proud of himself and he said, Hey, we didn't. There's no fights. I said we're not home yet. <laughs> you can't. You can't say that we're not home. Yes. Um, and Mrs. Holland stated the Callets 
Uh, we attended a workshop with the Cowlitz County uh, Board of Commissioners, I believe it was on the 21st, um, seems like it was forever ago, uh, with Kittleson Associates and Mr. Boyce and myself uh, were there and it was a very positive experience. Everyone was completely on board. I didn't hear one negative comment coming from the commissioners. Um, they, they admitted to the fact that some of the traffic issues we have in town are from their citizens coming to and from the county and development that's occurring in the county. So um, they were more than happy to, um, what was the word to use, Mrs. Holland? Um, they, they, they didn't promise, but they, uh, what did you? Oh, I don't know. Committed. They, committed. They, they, they committed $2 million towards the project, um, which is fantastic. So um, we look forward to that partnership and, and moving forward with the, with the Cowlitz County uh, Board of Commissioners and that Exit 21 project. There's a few things that are on your agenda this evening. Uh, one is committees, that's action item C. Uh, um, I don't know if you can, I don't think we need to pull it up. Uh, has everyone had an opportunity to look at the committees and the ones that have been suggested for them? Okay. Uh, and then Mr. Burke, we also are suggesting that you join the DWR as the Cowlitz or as the city council liaison. Are you okay with that? We know that you're you're down there, so and you you've had some dealings with that in the past. So. Not too early. I don't think it will be. <laughs> It'd probably be an afternoon meeting. I think one of the meetings are they quarterly. The meeting. So it's it's not not a huge commitment on that one. Um, and then Mr. Chapman, we're asking that you also be the liaison for the park board as well, if you're okay with that. Okay. Uh, city council retreat dates. Um, Coming up, I'd like to look at Saturdays in February and if there's any conflicts. And I'll start with Mrs. Rounds because she's usually the one that has the conflicts uh, before we before we go down to the rest of the, the council here this evening. Mrs. Rounds, are, do you have any conflicts with the Saturdays in February? Daryl. Oh, she's going to get her calendar. Okay, right. Mr. Smith, do you have any uh, conflicts with the Saturdays in February? No, it doesn't no, look not. like there's any conflicts in February. All right, thank you, Mrs. Browns. Mr. Smith? I don't think I do. Okay, uh, going down the line, Mr. Burke? No. Ms. Chapman? No. Ms. Plaza? It would depend on what Saturday we go. Okay. Uh, I do work some Saturdays during the month, but uh, if I can, I don't have my February okay. schedule yet. Okay. Um, however, once I find out what Saturdays I'm free, I can let you know and hopefully okay. what we can work with that. Okay. Mrs. Holland? Um, no, I'm just going to the weekend, so I'll just have whatever day. I just have to get changed. Okay. Cover me. All right. And Ms. Rowland? Um, any Saturday in February is fine. For okay. Me. Um, let's see. Shall we shoot for the 19th then? Can we say the 19th? That gives a few more weeks just in case we need to. Tentatively, yeah. Tentatively? Okay. Tentatively, the 19th uh, for the council retreat will be in these chambers here. Um, we will start at, oh, God, I hate to say eight. Nine. Oh. <laughs> eight, 845? 10. <laughs> Middle uh, Let's check with the executive team. Is anyone on vacation that, on the 19th? I should ask. I can't be. I can't be. No, I knew you. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> you do. It's called the council retreat. <laughs> short. Mr. Boyce, do you have any issues with 19? No. Okay. Perfect. All right. Do you want to go earlier? Six. No. You want to go later? Six. Eight thirty. We'll have fellowship from eight to eight thirty, and eight thirty the meeting will start. Uh, fellowship means we can show up late. <laughs> 8.30 or 8 o'clock. We'll shoot it for 8 o'clock with the meeting starting at 8.30. You said that'll be here? Yeah, it'll be here in these chambers. Right? So 8? 8, yes. For I know. Three. I know. Well, Why do you get up so early? No, I don't. I thought you were complaining we weren't no. starting early enough. No. All right, well, we're doing 8. Then we can get out here early and we can all have a nap. Okay. okay. I like it. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Rounds. You're now, welcome. Like, you I'll be more like Mrs. Rounds. <laughs> I want six. How long do those typically last? Um, most of the day, most of the day, I think, I think our last one went from like nine to four 30, I think. Yep. 
Um, but we had a lot on the agenda. We we're going to switch it up this year and have the department heads come in and or the exec team come in and give uh, presentations um, on their departments. So we'll we'll get some face time with each one of them individually, and then uh, the afternoon will be discussion on moving forward with the city. So it depends depends how much you talk. Now, Mr. Frederick is no longer part of the panel, so it's possible it could be done by two. <laughs> I hate to throw Mr. Frederick under the bus, but he deserves it after all these years. There's no, like, I'm not getting anything back right now, so this is great. Um, City Action Days uh, is going to be all online this year, and that is going to be uh, beginning at 8 a.m. again uh, on the 27th of January. So typically uh, what we do is we gather up and go up for a few days up to Olympia and meet with our legislators. Uh, clearly that's not happening again this year. Thank you, Mrs. Ray King, uh, for delivering that message. And City Action Days is no exception. So it will be online from eight to noon. So it's a four hour program. I encourage all of you to sign up. Um, there is a small fee that goes with that, but normally we spend a lot of money on that trip. And so it's a $25 fee. Uh, you learn a lot. It's from the comfort of your home through Zoom. So um, if you're able to attend that, please let us know as soon as you can, Mr. Voice. Yeah, we'll get you. We'll get you registered. So, I highly encourage all of you, if you're able to, to attend that on the 27th. Um, and I think I feel like there was something else I was supposed to discuss. Hold on, stand by. Oh, where is the? It's under act. Oh, it's under act. We'll be um, electing a, The council will be selecting a mayor pro tem uh, this evening at action item D. There is a process to that. Um, so when we get to that, we will. I'll have to pull out the book just to make sure that we follow it properly. I think I, I think I know the rules, so I'll pull it out. Um, and then also the change in rules this evening uh, was for uh, to put chamber at the second meeting only. So Miss Miller has agreed to that uh, to come and give a report for chamber on the second meeting of every month. Uh, so that's a change in rules. And then also there was some cleanup language on when we report out on some of the committees. Uh, so that is the only change that are within um, action item L this evening. So with that, Mr. Boyce. Yeah, so, so that change in reporting out the committees, at one point we changed the dates of the meetings. Uh, so we neglected to change when they report out. So technically this would uh, put us in compliance with the current operation. So right now the committees are reporting out the day of so that would make that happen. Um, I also wanted to let uh, Council know we're still in negotiations with both uh, the Fire School and Public Works Teamster groups. That's going well. Our next meeting is set for February 3rd. Um, we're making progress and uh, uh, I'll report back after that meeting. A uh, reminder. Uh, our next meeting will not be on a Monday, it will be Tuesday, January 18th, so it will not be the same day on that Monday. Uh, Mayor mentioned City Action Days. Uh, tomorrow, the 20th after 4, the people hearing is taking place in this room at 1 p.m. if anyone's interested. And uh, I think she meets 7 p.m. on January 20th. I also wanted to mention that uh, action item F, uh, the bond uh, second reading, and what is 14 and 6, and we do have Mark Reno, the bond council, on the open meeting, as well as Jim Davis, and Jim Davis, and Jim Davis, and Jim Davis. And that's my report. Questions for Mr. Boyce this evening? All right, seeing none. Uh, typically, the way we've been, uh, you have yeah. some. Oh, no, just wait. We can uh, turn the meeting off. Mr. Mr. Randolph, is there any um, guidance for council members testifying during that hearing tomorrow? For those that do attend. I'm, I'm not aware it would be, it would okay. be the Okay, gotcha. I know sometimes during planning commission meetings we have some we have some challenges there, but 
Um, just want to make sure. We're good? Okay. So with that, um, Ms. Randolph, you have reports this evening. And Mrs. Anderson is not here. Uh, Chief Kelly. Fire's not here. Mr. Goddard. Any need to report this evening? No, other than the steel steering. Uh, Perfect. Thank you. And Ms. Coleman. Thank you very much. Questions for the executive team? Questions. All right. Seeing none. Moving on to consent items. Move to approve the consent items. Second. Moved by Council Member Chapman, seconded by Council Member Plaza. Ms. Heiler. Aye. Aye. Council Member Smith. Aye. 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 The consent items have passed. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Smith is only on my screen. I don't know if anybody else saw that. <laughs> uh, he's, he has a very large piece of paper that he has drawn out with a big eye on it. So, um, just so there's no confusion on exactly what he is voting for. Uh, all right, consent items have passed. Moving on to action items. Action item C, 2022 council committees. Assign council members to council committees. Make a motion to approve action item committee. Moved by council member round, second by council member Chapman. Council member rounds. If, uh, as long as everybody agrees, I think it's great. Council member Chapman. Aye, I concur. Further discussion? No. Got it. Further discussion? All right, seeing none, Ms. Heiler, you please take the roll on action item C, 2022 council committees. Council member Smith. Council member Smith. Aye. Council member Aye. 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 The ayes have it. Action item C has passed. Moving on to action item D. Nominate and select Mayor Pro Tem. Select Mayor Pro Tem. I make a motion to nominate Monty Smith. Second. <laughs> Any other nominations? Sorry, Molly, you weren't here. <laughs> Seeing none. <laughs> it said no. Um, it appears there are no other nominations. At this time, we will take a roll on the nomination and selection of Mr. Councilmember Smith for Mayor Pro Tem for a biannual appointment. Further discussion on this? Ms. Hiley, would you please take the role to nominate Mr. Smith, who looks extremely satisfied with what's happening right now. <laughs> Councilmember Smith. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Council member rounds. Council member rounds. Aye. 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 The ayes have it. Congratulations, Mr. Smith. Well done. Um, well done. Once. <laughs> Once again, in my absence, you will be the supreme leader of the city of Woodlands. 
<laughs> By the way, I'll be gone in two weeks for, for about two weeks. All right, moving on to action item. <laughs> action item E. ZTA-21-001 Ordinance 1494 amending the Woodland Municipal Code to remove the City Council from the land use app appeal process. Final reading. Move to approve action item E. And I'll just Reader's Digest version it. Uh, amending the DPMC to remove the City Council from the land use appeal process. Final reading. Second. Moved by Council Member Plaza. Second by Council Member Chapman. Council Member Plaza. Um, if I, I read comprehension was up to speed when I went through this, this is basically to use an example, like with the RV thing, when they appealed to remove us from that whole process, yes, correct? Yes. Correct. Basically, they can put the bond in Perfect. That's all I got. Mr. Chapman. I can concur to, yeah, we need to pull legislation and judicial, separate the two, and this is a good move to do that. Further discussion. Seeing none, Ms. Heiler, please take the roll for ordinance number 1494. Council Member Round. Aye. 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 Council Member Smith. Aye. Council Member Smith. Aye. The ayes have it. Moving on to action item F, ordinance number 1496, bond ordinance to finance acquisition of 236 Davidson Avenue, final reading. I'll go ahead. Uh, move to approve action item F, ordinance 1496, bond ordinance to finance acquisition of 236 Davidson Avenue, final reading. Second. Moved by Council Member Plaza, second by Council Member Chapman, Council Member Plaza. Uh, we talked about this a few times. Uh, at some point, the city is is going to grow, and we, instead of waiting to find the space when we absolutely need it, it's better to plan ahead and have the space ready for when we do. Um, I do have a couple questions, though. Real we quick. do have our our bond folks and uh, folks from DA Davidson on the line as well. Perfect, because I am not a a uh, lawyer. I don't play one on TV, and so when I was reading through a lot of the stuff. It, I'll admit it, I didn't understand it. So um, as far as repayment goes, the way I read it, this could potentially put the city in debt, correct? Yes. Okay, so if that happens, how, will, how are we repaying the debt? Is it just gonna be like a regular loan, just X amount over time, or are we expected to pay it all at once? How's that work? I'll go first. Thanks, Mark, for being on. Uh, Jim Nelson, DA Davidson. So your average annual payment is about 32000 a year. You have a portion of that. You have interest payments on June 1st and December 1st of each year, principal portion on December 1st. And it's a 15-year financing. So basically, you'll have 15 years of annual payments. The bonds are secured by the city's general fund. Okay. Is that in the budget already or no? And Mr. Boyce? So if City Council approves this resolution, can I go come to City Council with a budget meeting? Okay, so, but technically, I mean, the money is already there. We need just to you know, pull it from the different funds. This isn't something we have to worry about down the road. The city coming to us and asking us to raise taxes on people or anything like that to pay for that, correct? No, it's, it's covered from water sewer rates and some general fund monies. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chapman. Yeah, I agree with everything. We're just trying to be proactive instead of reactive on it. It's a good shot in the arm moving forward. Further discussion? All right.
right, seeing none, Ms. Heiler, you please take the roll on action item F, ordinance number 1496, bond ordinance to finance acquisition of 236 Davidson Avenue, final reading. Councilmember Smith. Aye. 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 Council Member Rounds? Aye. Aye. The ayes have it. Moving on to action item G, ordinance number 1497, personnel policy amending holidays, final reading. Move to approve action agenda item G. Ordinance 14997, personal policy amending holidays. Second. Moved by Council Member Chapman, second by Council Member Smith. Council Member Chapman. Oh, this is the realignment to get everybody on board. And everybody's on instead of three different contracts with three different things. It's aligns everybody with everybody on the same basis of holidays. So. Council Member Smith. From, from my understanding, it's taking the uh, Christmas Eve holiday and turning it into a floating holiday. So it's not really eliminating a uh, holiday for anybody. It's just uh, making that holiday more flexible for uh, if somebody wants to use it on a day to day. Further discussion? Mr. Plaza. Oh, yeah, yeah just a real quick question. Um, Christmas Eve, this is like uh, Councilmember Smith said, this is basically removing Christmas Eve not removing it, but, but turning it into a floating holiday. So instead of everybody taking Christmas Eve off, they can use it on another day, correct? Mr. Boyce. So it does get a little complicated because we have uh, a collective bargaining agreement that still have Christmas Eve mm -hmm. uh, listed. So right now we're, we're meeting with both Teamster units and that is one of the items on the table. Uh, the police association bill uh, also has a listing. So the idea behind this is to set the personnel policy, which will cover exempt employees that aren't covered by collective bargaining agreements. And this basically sets the policy for city council wants to move. Um, so we still may end up in a situation for a few years mm -hmm. uh, if and until we can change uh, uh, holiday provisions in the bargaining agreement. Where uh, so what city council adopts it. So the exempts would not get Christmas Eve as a holiday unless they took their floating holiday back. Depending on what the teamsters do, for instance, we'll talk about city hall. If they do not, we do not change the provision in the collective bargaining agreement. There could be a situation where operationally. We would have to close on Christmas Eve. The exempt employees who fall under this could either work that day, albeit it may not be open to the public, or they could choose to get the closing holiday. So the long-term uh, idea behind this is to get everyone on the same page as Council Member Chapman indicated his idea. Uh, but until that happens, you know, there will be a little, little bit of uh, Transition uh, that we have to go through. So, if this, if we pass this, and we're still in talks with, you know, unions and guilds or whatever, are those <coughs> those people won't be able to utilize that until we come to some sort of agreement with the guild, correct? Or no? So it would cover the exempt employees that aren't covered by a collective bargaining Right. So, but it would not cover those. Okay. Unions. Okay. So they'll they'll stay under the same thing until their until it's contract, contract is done. Okay. Okay. Um, no, that's all. Mr. Burke. So what is the rush to get this through? Because uh, I mean, you got the contracts you got to work through, and ninety percent of the employees don't want to. Lose the uh, December 24th holiday. Why, why do we need to push it? Mr. Boyce. Well, the reason the discussion 
about politics and uh, the procedures the federal government has recognized to impeach a person in politics. Uh, we do have the bargaining unit that is requesting that additional holiday. Uh, the city is countering uh, with what's before you now. Uh, so the idea behind it is that if someone wants to celebrate to impeach as a holiday, that building holiday could be taken on that day with supervisor approval. Or if someone wanted to celebrate on Christmas Eve, and with supervisor approval, they could take that day. So that's the reason for the discussion of holidays. I, I will add too that this comes before council every year. The schedule does. Anything further? No. Okay. Further discussion? All right, seeing none, Ms. Hyler, please take the roll on action item G, ordinance number 1497. Council member Rounds? Aye. Mr. Burke, you please give the reason for abstention um, for the council rules. I really don't understand it fully enough to vote on. Mr. Randolph? Mr. Mayor. Uh, yes, Mrs. Rouse. Could you have uh, Mr. Burke to speak into the microphone a little better? I couldn't hear what he said when he talked. Yes. Uh, speak we've into got, the um, microphone. Yes, Mr. Randolph is looking something up before we continue as well, just so you're aware. Okay, thank you. There you go. That's off. That's off. That's off. Right. Ms. Randolph? Yes, where it says that each council shall vote on all questions and matters before the council unless a conflict of interest or appearance of various physical and other members. So you must vote. I guess I'll go on. Yes. Councilor Plaza? Aye. Councilor Smith? Aye. 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 All right, the ayes have it. Moving on to action item H, authorized mayor to sign professional service agreement for truck for construction management and inspection with Grain Osborne for the West Scott and Davidson Burlington Northern Santa Fe Water Main Crossing Project. Move to approve action item H. Authorize Mayor to sign professional service agreement for construction management and inspection with Grain Osborne for the West Scott and Davidson BNSF Water Main Crossing Project. Second. Moved by Councilmember Plaza, second by Councilmember Smith. Councilmember Plaza. No comment. Councilmember Smith. Yeah, this is a contract for Gray and Osborne for construction management and inspection of the Davidson and Scott Crossing. Uh, this project will require a lot of coordination with uh, the railroad and paperwork with the railroad. So it's uh, definitely needed. Gray and Osborne was also the engineers. So they're pretty uh, knowledgeable of the projects, which will make it go a lot smoother. Um, that's about it for what I have. Thank you for the discussion. All right, seeing none, Ms. Hyler, please take the roll on action item eight. Authorizing the signature for professional service agreement for construction management inspection with Grain Osborne for the West Scott and Davidson BNSF water main crossing project. Aye. Council member rounds. Aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. Aye. Aye. All right, the ayes have it. Moving on to action item I. Authorize me to sign professional service agreement with Gray and Osborne for consulting engineering for the Westcott asbestos concrete water main replacement project. Move to approve, authorize mayor to sign professional service agreement with Gray and Osborne for consulting engineering with the Westcott asbestos concrete water main replacement project. Second. Moved by council member Chapman, second by council member Smith. Council member Chapman. I said enough kind of agree with it. <laughs> council member Smith. <laughs> So this is the uh, engineering cost for replacing 1,300 feet of old asbestos concrete water main. Uh, this is in the budget from the uh, budgeted out of the American Relief Plan dollars and construction is planned for 2023 and should be presented to the council upon uh, project bidding. Further discussion? Also, I that will you please take the roll on action item I. Also, I have to make I. Council member Rounds. I. The ayes have it. Moving on to action item J, authorized mayor to sign contract with the lowest bidder, Magna Construction Services, Inc., for the West Scott and Davidson BNSF Water Main Crossing Project. Uh, move to approve action item J, authorized mayor to sign contract with the lowest bidder, Magna Construction Services, Incorporated, for the West Scott and Davidson BNSF Water Main Crossing Project. Second. Second. <laughs> second. <laughs> move by, by Councilmember Plaza, second by Councilmember Burke. Councilmember Plaza. Uh, I'm not going to go into it. It sounds like a lot of the same stuff that uh, Councilmember Smith has so eloquently explained to all of us, so I'll just leave it at that. Mr. Burke. Further discussion. Um, Mrs. Holland. I just want to say this should tentatively put to bed an agreement that the city entered into over a decade ago to get water across that railroad crossing. <laughs> yes. So thank you, Ms. Coleman, for making this happen after you arrived. Well, e even even then, it's still taken two years to get it to this yeah. point since she started working on it. <laughs> yeah, you did. You did. Awesome. All right. Anything further? And uh, Mr. Smith. So I'll just go over my spiel I wrote here real quick. Uh, 460K was budgeted for each of these uh, Westcott and the Davidson Waterline Crossing. Westcott low bid came in at 413k and some change, and Davidson came in at 413k and some change. Uh, Davidson Crossing is being funded from a 500k grant, and Westcott Avenue is coming from the uh, budgeted American Relief Plan dollars. Thank you, Mr. Smith. And it should be noted that the 500 that came from Cowlitz County from the commissioner. So another another partnership, and we appreciate that. Anything further? Seeing none, Ms. Heiler? Councilman Chapman? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. Councilman Plaza? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Holland? Aye. Councilman Rounds? Councilman Rounds? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. Councilman Plaza? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. Councilman Plaza? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. Councilman Plaza? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. Councilman Plaza? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. Councilman Plaza? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. Councilman Plaza? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. Councilman Plaza? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. Councilman Plaza? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. Councilman Plaza? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. Councilman Plaza? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. Councilman Plaza? Aye. Councilman Smith? Aye. Councilman Burke? Aye. The ayes have it. Moving on to action item K, water treatment plant filter number one, change orders one, two, and three with Stellar J and professional service agreement amendment 4A with Gray and Osborne. Move to approve uh, agenda item K. Second. second. Oh. <laughs> Moved by council member Hall and second by council member, no, uh, just pick, pick one, Chapman. <laughs> <laughs> council member Hall. It's a hot one. <laughs> no, it is a hot one. Jeez. Um, I kind of mentioned this earlier, but um, the 
which is one of those things that you need to do to have good waters here. So there you go. Councilmember Chapman. I agree and stuff. And like Chief Coleman said, and stuff is a good aspect to get going. So, you know, it just makes sense. Further discussion? Seeing none, Ms. Hyler, please take the roll on action. MK wet water treatment plant filter number one change orders. Council member Rem. Aye. 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 The ayes have it. Moving on to action item L, ordinance number 1498, amend city council rules regarding reporting dates for committees. First reading. Move to approve action item L, ordinance 1498, amend city council rules regarding reporting dates for committees. First reading. Second. Moved by Councilmember Plaza, second by Councilmember Chapman. Councilmember Plaza. Uh, basically, this is all this is doing is just uh, moving one or two uh, committees from the first Monday to the third Monday and flipping the other two to the first Monday. So it's not really that big of a deal. Councilmember Chapman. I agree. And, and it's also moving so that uh, the uh, chamber can be at the second meeting for the first meeting. So. It just makes all sense and makes it more easy for people to be at the meeting. So. Further discussion? Seeing none, Ms. Highly, please take the roll on action item L, ordinance number 1498, amending city council rules regarding reporting dates for committees. First reading. Aye. <laughs> Councilmember Rounds. Aye. Councilmember Plaza. Aye. Councilmember Chapman. Aye. Councilmember Rowland. Aye. Councilmember Holland. Aye. The ayes have it. Before we go on to the next portion, I want to remind everyone we forgot to report this that the chamber banquet is on January 29th at the ALNA Casino. Um, for all of you that want to attend, um, I see that uh, Mrs. Graham is on the line. Mrs. Graham, is that something you have to register for? Yes, they can go online uh, to the Woodland Chamber site and fill out a reservation. And, um, you know, we'd like to see the city representative represented well um at our meeting so you know the chamber and the city is going to be working together a lot on things this year i do believe i think it's heading down that road and it makes me very excited about that uh it, it like you said it, it is at a Lene casino back in their entertainment rooms um it, it will be a sit down dinner uh, i believe the price on that is probably going to be i think it's 60 dollars a plate um starts at five o'clock social hour and then the dinner and then we will have our program and we will also be recognizing a couple of years of um honored citizens of our city with uh plaques and and uh other things so um it's always a fun time so i hope that if, you know as many people can come as possible all right thank you mrs Graham. i appreciate that thank you all right at that time at this time we are well and again please let mr boyce know um or myself know if you want to attend so we can get you uh mr smith yes so in years past uh, the city paid for the council members but if their significant other had to pay for themselves okay uh, correct. The same, same deal yes okay so please let us know if it'll be you or, and how many um Voice note, please. All right. And with that, we've come to the moment for adjournment. Move to adjourn. Move by, move by Councilmember Chapman. Second by Councilmember Burke. All in favor say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? The ayes have aye. the time is 806. Thank you, Mr. Smith and Mrs. Rounds, for attending this evening. And Mrs. Rounds, we hope you feel better.